and we're getting you some more breaking news. The JDS spokespersons are asked to not give any TV interview or quote to the media. They won't participate in any debates. Working president of JDS has issued a letter in this connection. It's clearly after the embarrassing drubbing that JDS has faced. JDS spokespersons have been asked to uh, withdraw themselves and maintain distance when it comes to making any uh, media comments or even participating in debates on news channels. The working president of JDS has issued a letter in this connection. My colleague Imran is joining us to get us more details. Uh, Imran, the JDS working president, I'm given to believe, has also issued a letter in this connection. But uh, why are they trying to take such an extreme step? How is it by you trying to keep yourself away and withdraw from dialogue and discussions on news channels is going to help bolster the fortunes of the party? Well, uh, the JDS feels that certain channels, local channels in Karnataka, have been make, uh, twisting statements of the ministers uh, and especially coalition leaders and uh, creating controversy. They feel they have fear more of uh, the local media than the BJP now. So they've asked their party leaders, especially the spokespersons, and also including ministers, to uh, not to hold any, give any political statements to the media. They can brief the media about the work they're doing in their respective departments, but no will be given either on the coalition government or on the prevailing political conditions in the state. And this has been categorically issued in the form of letter to informing all their leaders, uh, including ministers of both coalition leaders, both Congress and the JDS. Uh, they say that unless for a few days they sort out the issue, no one will give any political bite to the media is a desperate step on the part of the JDS. Uh, but Imran, clearly, instead of trying to introspect as to why did people reject uh, JDS and did not vote them to power and did not let them win, to try and uh, come up with an extreme step like this, to try and put almost a gag order on all their spokesperson by not talking to the media, is really not going to be the solution. And they have often uh, tried to come up with extreme decisions when it comes to the regional media over there in Karnataka. Well, there has been a kind of... Uh hate relationship, what the, uh, uh, the, especially the chief minister himself has said that he no longer will speak to the media. He said that his uh, comments every time have been twisted and uh, taken out of context in here for the past few days. CM has refused to speak to the media. In fact, that seems to be the uh, the prevailing condition now, which has now gone to uh, dictate, has been issued even to the spokesperson and ministers in the cabinet, that they are no longer, they will issue any statements to the media. They feel that certain uh, sections of the media have been particularly targeting the, the leaders and making, uh, twisting their comments and taking it out of context and making it show as if uh, that the, both the coalition partners are the, yes. where the government will collapse. And this is a dictate and they said, unless issues okay. are it out. No one will speak to the local media. It seems they're targeting media rather than solving the issues among themselves. Well, Imran, thank you for getting us all those details on the story.